show you how to make this wood grain vase using all items from the Dollar Tree. So stay tuned and I will show you how to make it. Alrighty, let's get started. So I have one of these flower vases from the Dollar Tree, a roll of burlap ribbon, and my store just now put out these really cute flower clips. They had them last year and they have them this year. They had yellow, pink, purple, I believe I saw some blue. And you're also going to need a roll of this adhesive covering. And I usually try to have everything unwrapped before I start, but I wanted y'all to see this label. This is from Dollar Tree as well. Now, they do have some wood grain shelf liner that is a rubbery type material. You don't want that. You want this kind where up here at the top of the label it said as adhesive covering. That's what you want because it has a sticky back. And that's what we need, the sticky back to stick to our vase. So, now let me unwrap it. Yeah, I hate, I hate unwrapping stuff on camera because it just makes a bunch of noise and it wastes time. Y'all don't like me. Y'all got stuff to do. All right, so, and it does have the cutting lines, grid lines marked out, which makes it easier to cut a straight line. Now you want to decide which way you want the wood grain to run. It can run sideways, up and down. It doesn't matter however you want it to look. Mine, I kind of want it to run up and down. So I'm just going to put mine right about here because we're not going to be folding this up to cover the bottom because it's going to make the bottom lumpy and it's not going to sit flat on your table. So I'm just going to put it right about here and then let's come up just a few squares. I know y'all can't see me off camera here, but I'm going to come up just a few squares here because for the top, I want the top to be able to fold down inside the vase to cover the edge. All right, lay that off to the side or throw it in the floor, whichever one y'all want to do. Now let's take this and measure and see about how much we're going to need to go around. It doesn't need to overlap very much. I want to say right about there. Cut. Oh, I cut that almost on a line. Look there. Almost. Oops, you're also going to need a hot glue gun and glue sticks. Usually I mention that. I forgot to mention it. Okay, so. Oh, it's got glitter on it from my table. <laughs> All right, so let's try to peel off the backing, which can be a little tricky. But sometimes if you just bend the corner a little bit and then just take your fingernail and kind of just pull at it like that, it'll start to peel right up. Now I'm only going to take a little bit of the paper off just like that. Would you look at that? Lord have mercy. I'm just going to put it right here. I think that's pretty straight. And just peel it off a little bit at a time and just kind of smooth it on with your hand. It peels right back off pretty easily. So, you know, if you goof up a little bit, it's okay. And if you get a wrinkle in it, that's just gonna add to the texture of the wood look. So don't worry about it if you get a wrinkle. Like there's a wrinkle, ah! just smooth it out. So I'm going to just wrap this whole vase in this paper here. I'm not gonna make y'all watch me do that. That's gonna take some time it's gonna be a little boring so let me go ahead and get this covered I'm gonna pause the video here and then I'll come back and we'll show you what else we're gonna do with it alrighty so this is all nice and smooth and, and looks pretty good I really like the knots that they have in this paper it just makes it look a little bit more realistic I really like that now for the bottom all I did is I took my little exacto knife here and I just trimmed around the edge to trim it off flush. Because like I said, if you fold it over on the bottom, it's going to be rough. And it's, it's not going to stand up really well. It's going to be all wobbly. So now what I'm going to do for the top is I'm just going to cut strips like this just right down to the top of the vase. Can you all see this? Right down to the top. 
Just cut, cut, cut. You don't want these to be too wide because then they're going to wrinkle across the top when we bend them down inside the vase. So I don't... How, how big is that? I don't know. What about three quarters of an inch? I don't know. Just don't cut them too wide. We're almost there. And then what we're going to do with these tabs, once we cut them, I'm not a speed cutter, y'all. Look at that. Good Lord. Oh, it's starting to curve in. What we're going to do is just take each little tab and bend it straight down into the vase and smooth it out. Just really smooth it down in there. Just like that. Now look at them trying to hang on to each other. No, oh, they love each other. Let him go. Just take all of your tabs and bend them down. See? And now the edge is all smooth. There's not a single ripple in there. Now watch. Now that I've said that, watch watch me make a ripple. <laughs> Alright, let me... I'm going to cut this a little bit more narrow. Alright. Go on down in there. And then once we have all of these tucked down in there, what we're going to do is then we're going to take our burlap ribbon and wrap it around it and then put our flowers on. I know some people say, why did you pick pink and yellow? You know, I don't like pink. Pink is not my color. I don't know why. I just don't like it. But for some reason, I really like pink and yellow together because it reminds me of pink lemonade. And I love pink lemonade. So there we go. Okay, and that's far enough down in there where, you know, if you put a flower arrangement in there and for some reason, if somebody's in your house and decides to look into your face, they're not really going to see the glass on the inside because, you know, hopefully your flowers or whatever you have in here is going to cover it up. Okay, so now we're going to take our burlap ribbon here and I'm going to wrap it around pretty much the center of our vase here. I want to cut this right about here. And then we're going to hot glue it down. Now you see, this has got a lot of little holes in there. So please be careful when you're using your hot glue. Oh, this is going to roll. It's rolling away. You want to be very careful when you're gluing this down. Let's see. Let's go right about there. That looks good. And then we're just going to Put that right there. See how the glue is going to ooze up through there? But it's okay because you know what? We're going to cover it with our flower. You know what? Let's trim off just a little bit more. There we are. All right. Throw that over there. Just make a mess. It's all right. I'm going to clean it up here in a little bit anyway. Now I'm going to put that there. And let that sit just for a minute so that that glue can harden up. Now, while it's doing that, we're going to take our flower here. I'm just going to pop the clip. Ah! Take the clip off. I said I was. <laughs> and just cut that little plastic nubby thing off so that now it is all nice and flat. And we can glue it down a little bit better. Let's see. We want to put that kind of right there to cover that up. What are you doing? It's shedding. It's molting season. I'm just going to put a big old blob of glue. It's going to run everywhere. And I want to stick that flower right there. I love big old flowers. I like big flowers and I cannot lie. Okay. So now there is our wooden vase with our burlap ribbon and our big pretty flower. So how cute and easy was that? And, you know, with all of the different colors of burlap and, you know, you could use a different type of ribbon, whatever kind of contact paper you want, whatever decoration you want. Just so many different ways that you could do this. But I am pleased with this. It is all bright and springy and I love it. So if you would, please, please give this video a thumbs up. Click subscribe, check me out on other forms of social media, the links to all of which will be in the description box down below, and I hope to see y'all next time. Bye-bye.